Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and this video uh, is here to show the new feature from Magento 1.9.1 Community Edition of Color Swatches. Um, basically, uh, up till prior to that, um, you'd have to use an extension or code your own color swatches, and this new version enables you to do that. And it's pretty uh, pretty easy to use. It's a pretty nice feature. So I just wanted to show it to you and um, show you how to set it up and how it looks. Okay. Um, so this is just a test server using the default uh, theme that they use, and I just I just created a product which we'll go into uh, pretty shortly to show you. So we basically created a um, configurable product which showcases two simple products which have two different colors. So if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's two color swatches. One is the blue, and one is royal blue. Uh, obviously, we just placed template. Uh, sorry, just placed the images that we wanted to in order to test. But basically, that's it. So once you have a product here, you have the product image. If you switch colors, you'll see uh, the actual image change as well. So I'll click here. Now, obviously, these are just tests that we did. It's not the real color, but you can see the idea, right? If you're selling a T-shirt and you have switch. Uh, um, you know, changes between, uh, you know, a blue t-shirt or red t-shirt, things like that, you'll upload the correct picture. But you can see it's pretty, pretty simple. It works good. Uh, obviously, you'll have to style it in a better manner, but um, basically it'll show the color swatches and switch the image uh, on your product page. Now, in addition to that, also what the default theme incorporates is it inc incorporates the color swatches into your category page or search page. So if you see here, sorry about that, just had a phone. Um, so if you see here, the color swatches are also here. So if I click here, they'll automatically switch, which is a really, really nice feature, OK? Um, so let's actually go into the settings themselves, OK? So I'm in my back end. Again, this is just a test server. I'm going to go to System and Configuration. Now, uh, by default, and so I'm going to go here to the left-hand tab, and I'm going to um, go down to catalog and configurable swatches. And by default, it's disabled. So what you're going to need to do is enable it right here. Right now, obviously, we showed it to you, so it's on yes. But by default, it'll be on no, right? So you're going to click on yes. And then you're going to select here which actual attributes you want to show the, the swatches themselves, OK? so. Just going to mute the phone. Sorry about that. So you're going to show that. So in our case, we just wanted color and color. So I'm going to do that. Um, and the other settings are to show what dimensions the actual swatches would be. So you can have here swatch dimensions on product page, on product listing, and in layered navigation, which is very interesting, a layered navigation as well. Instead of just having, um, let's say, on your left-hand column, you know, uh, filter by color, you know, black, white, it'll just show what the actual um, you know, images themselves. I haven't tried it yet, but it's pretty interesting. OK. So once you do that, you click on Save. And now you have to actually go to uh, manage your products. <clears throat> so what, what I basically did is I created uh, two simple products right here. Let's do this, sorry. Um, basically, product name blue and product name brown, which are the two simple products, and then product name configurable, which encompass these this blue and brown. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go here. I'll show you a quick quick example. And so um, this is the simple product, the blue color. Okay, so what I basically did is I added to my attribute set color, and so when I define it, I can actually select from the specific color. Okay. Um, now, by default, it might not be there. So you'd actually have to go to your attribute set and actually add it to add the color field into there. But I'll get to that in a second. So now I basically have my simple product, product name blue. I selected the color blue. And then I did the same exact thing for brown. OK? Um, and I just call this brown, but obviously the color would be is royal blue, so I can obviously change it to brown just to, but this is just a test. So I hope this doesn't confuse you, the idea, the idea itself, OK? Um, so let's just save this for a second. And um, now I have a configurable product, which will encompass the blue and the brown, right? So I'm going to manage the product, click on the configurable. And when I go to associated products right here, I've obviously checkboxed the two. 
So once I do that, everything should be working, right? So this is my product, right? And it'll have these two colors, right? And that's it. So um, that, that's the idea. It's pretty, pretty simple. I'm just going to give you a few other quick tips. So if one tip by default you won't see, right, is if you do not have the color in your attribute set, obviously it won't work, right? So you have to include it. So if it, it's not included, you're going to manage your attribute sets. Make sure you're using the correct one, whatever product you're, you're um you're trying to manage. So let's say it's by default, right? And just make sure that the color right here is in your actual section. If it's unassigned, you're going to have to drag it there. Now, um, let me give you another example. So I hope that makes sense. If not, you can see some of our other videos about attribute sets and attributes. Um, but uh, here's another example, uh, which is important for this specific case. So if I want to add a new color, for example, I'm going to click on Attributes, manage attribute, and I'm going to go to color right here. I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to go to, um, obviously here it'll say if it's applied to simple products or configurable, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the manage labels, and if I want to add a new color that doesn't exist, I'm just going to click on the add option, and let's say I, I want to uh, add a new um a, a new color, let's just say sky blue, okay? And then let's just have sky blue. So um, my only other comment for this is um, how do you upload, the, the, the last part of this is how do you uh, actually upload a uh, new color, right? Because if you add a new color in text, how would it know what image, what image color to actually display? So it's pretty simple. So now that I added a sky blue, I'm going to save this, okay? And now... Let's go here. Let's manage our product. Let's say I'm going to change this blue to sky blue. Okay, so this is my simple product. I'm going to go here, sky blue, right there. I'm going to save it. Okay, so now if I go to the product, you'll see what happens because, okay, so under sky blue, now I don't have an image. It just says sky blue. So if I want to upload an image, now I have to figure out how I do that. So what you want to do is go to either to the FTP or simpler, uh, go to your uh, WYSIWYG editor, and then just insert an image, right? Just upload an image. You're going to click here to upload, and you're going to click to upload. Now, if you notice, by default, there's a folder called swatches. So I'm going to click on that, and now I can see all of the swatches, right? So what you're going to have to do is basically upload a, uh, an image um, in your size to actually ma fit that. And the way um, Magento actually understands what the color is going to be is based on the naming. So because we have sky blue, we're going to have to name it. So the rule for this is you're going to have to take the color name and make it lowercase and then upload it dot PNG. Okay. So if it's a, let's say blue, right, the, the color is blue, so capital B-L-U-E, what you're going to have to do is name the image under case, or lowercase, sorry, B, lowercase L, lowercase U, lowercase E, dot PNG, and then upload it. So that's simple for one word, but in our case, we have more than one word, and there's a space in between. So we have sky blue, right, two words. So what you're going to have to do is name your, your um name your actual image sky blue very very simple right so it'll be all lowercase and instead of a space you're going to have a dash so our file let me just go here for a second let's go here okay let's let's just take this brown one so i'm going to name it sky s k y dash b l u e okay so let's just say this is our our color obviously okay so i'm going to browse and I'm going to select here. So if you notice, again, it's all lowercase S-K-Y dash B-L-U-E dot P-N-G. Okay, so I'm going to upload. And now it's uploaded right here. I can close this. And if I refresh, because I already uploaded to the server, we should have an image replaced. That's it. Now, because they're, they, they are the same just because we have a sample data, but obviously you would create your sky blue in a sky blue color and upload it, and that's it. So um, that's it for this. I hope it, it, this makes sense. Pretty nice feature. It's actually a very nice feature, uh, which is built in, which is great. 
Um, also, 1.9.1 seems to be much quicker uh, on our servers, so it's a great, great addition. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer any comments or on our blog. Thank you very much.